What is up, Zolmates? Recently, I made a pop punk type beat live on Twitch with you, and as promised, just recorded some vocals on it and mixed the vocals like Machine Gun Kelly, Youngblood, give them that distorted kind of feel. And yeah, let's hop right into Ableton and I'm gonna show you how I mixed these vocals. Also, only about 30% of the people who watch my channel are subscribed, so if you could, after this video, if you learned something, if it was a helpful video, then that would be much appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you. Let's hop right into Ableton. All right, hello Ableton. I love you. So here is our Machine Gun Kelly beat that we made on stream. A lot of people helped out, it was so much fun. Again, check out my Twitch. I made this beat with my Guitar and Bass Volume 1. Um, it has a lot of guitar samples that you can snag on my store. Go check it out if you want. But these are the vocals that I ended up recording. Your words, all these nice will be like this in my place. I've been sleeping in a lonely crib. I think the biggest thing on these kind of vocals is distortion, so I'm going to be walking through that. Um, another big thing is the telephone effect, so, you know, getting your eco, eco, getting your eco, getting your EQ um, with a really harsh low cut, give it that telephone effect, and then really emphasizing the drops. So this is doubling over here, having one vocal on the left, one on the right. Even though it's wrong, I wish you So we're gonna be walking through all of this. I think the first thing that we're gonna talk about is this sweep effect because this is just the This is just the start of the song really helps emphasize um, the first vocals and this is what I did so I'm just gonna insert an audio track and we're gonna make this audio track record this main track right here. So we'll just call this cheese. And as you can see, there we go. Okay, so we were actually recording the group. Now we're recording cheese. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit this record button right here and then. Your word. There we go. Now if we solo, your word. We got just the vocals right there. But in order to get this sweep effect, you want some really reverby vocals. So we're gonna come over to this track. I'll be walking through um, how I mix these vocals. And we're just gonna move a reverb right here. So this Valhalla Vintage Verb, really nice reverb. And you really want the reverb to be huge. So over three seconds is recommended. Let's go like four seconds. And then we're gonna boost the mix up to like 70. So definitely don't recommend you doing this to your vocals, but to get this sweep effect, it is helpful. So now that we have this huge reverb on these vocals, um, instead of recording all of the vocals, we're just gonna be recording the first little your because that's the first word I say, so we're just gonna come over here. And as you can tell, very long reverb. I'm gonna let it ride out, take out that part right there. And then what I'm gonna do, now if we solo this, very loud, um, we're gonna come over here and press this reverse button, and it's gonna be reversing this reverb. There we go. So now we move it over here. And then obviously, let's turn it down a little bit. That's a really loud sound. All right, there we go. Now we're just gonna extend these lines right here. And then we're gonna take off the really heavy reverb that we threw on this cheese track. Your 
words, all these nights will be like this. So there we go. That is how you do the sweep effect in your vocals. All right, let's check out how we mixed these vocals. So this is the audio effect rack. These are all of the effects that I'm gonna be walking through. And as you can see, it says Dominic. And that is because, pretty sure, spelled like that. Um, I have a how to mix your vocals like Dominic Fike. And I just copied that template and then tweaked it some more and turned it into more of an MGK vocal template. There we go. Um, so the first thing we got is Melodyne. This is my auto-tune. I need auto-tune. I feel like most of us need auto-tune. And if you're saying otherwise, you are lying to yourself. So this is without auto-tune. Your words, all these nights will be like this in my place. I've been sleeping in a lonely... Not the best. So with the Melodyne, I'm able to individually tweak the notes and just make it Your words, all these nights will be like this in my place I've been sleeping in a lonely crib A lot better. So definitely recommend some auto-tune. Alright, so what I'm gonna do to start this off, we're just gonna come over here, mute all of these audio effects. There we go. Now the first audio effect we're gonna be talking about is a low cut. This is always my first audio effect on my vocals. Just take out these low ends that I don't need and then slightly boost these highs. Your words, all these nights will be like this. Obviously, it's not really doing anything. It's just taking out those frequencies that we don't need. So next up is going to be two compressors. These are both CLA compressors. Um, really like these compressors. So the reason I'm doing two is because this first one, is really harshly compressing my vocals, um, really taking those loud notes and kind of bringing them down with a really quick attack and quick release. And then this second compressor is kind of just smoothly boosting the vocals a little bit and giving them some more presence. So um, let's check out this first compressor without this compressor down here. Let's see what it's doing. Your words, all these nights will be like this in my place. I've been sleeping in a lonely crib. So as you can tell, especially the first note, Your we're getting all the way out to seven. And then most of the compression is around three, which is what you Your want. words, all these nights will be like this. It's around like negative two. And then the really loud notes, we're getting to negative 10, negative seven. So that's going to be a really harsh compression. And then the next one, is an overall um, kind of boosting compression. It's not gonna be doing too much. We don't want this one to be getting out to negative 10 dBs of reduction. We just want like around two, one, three. Your words, all these nights will be like this in my place, I've been sleeping in a So there we go, those are the two compressors. You really want compression on your vocals. If you haven't seen my how to mix your vocals video, super in-depth video, um, I just talk about all of these topics a little bit more in depth, so I'll definitely go check that out. Next up is going to be some Pro-Q3, and this is scanning my vocals for any harsh frequencies that I don't like. So what I'm doing is I'm going like this. I'm turning the shape into a bell, bringing it up, boosting the Q so it's really sharp, and then I'm just going like this right here. So as you can tell, this frequency, don't like it, and what I did is I, let's delete this, I added some dynamic EQ. So every time that harsh frequency is hitting, um, it is just gonna be lowering it a little bit. So that is scanning the EQ. And the next up is de -esser. S's on vocals, really annoying, Your so. Words, all these nights will be like this. And every time the red thing goes down, that is taking away my S sounds. Um, all right, next up is this audio effect rack. And what this is doing is this is adding some parallel compression for us. So all of these um, audio effects are being hit at the same time instead of one after the other. So the first one is gonna be dry, meaning there's no audio effects on it. Your words, all these. But the next one is parallel compression, and this is like a brick wall of compression. Sleeping in a lonely crib. It's just gonna be not at all dynamic vocals. It's gonna be just a brick wall of vocals, and you don't want your regular vocals to sound like this. Your words, all these nice Cause it sounds unnatural, but when you pair it with 
your dry vocals, which are your regular vocals, and then turn it down just a little bit. Your words, all these nice would be like this. You have some much more natural sounding vocals. So um, next up is I'm just throwing on a little bit of reverb. Both of these tracks are reverb. This one's called Forest Floor. This one's called Oil Barrel. These are types of reverbs. This one's kind of brighter. This one's a little bit darker. And we're going to be throwing both of those on. Let's give them a listen. Your words, all these nice would be like this. And, and then next up is some slap delay, some ping pong delay. So if we give this a listen with this um, delay track. Your words, all these nice would be like this in my place. It is ping ponging left and right, and I just hit this little ping pong button right here. So there we go. That is the audio effect rack really adding some sauce. So the next thing I did, um, you don't have to do this, but I just lowered the vocals a little bit, give me some more headroom because it was getting pretty loud. And then next up, did a little bit more scanning and kind of boosted these highs. So now I'm starting to boost the highs, give them a lot more um, harshness to the vocals. And we haven't even gotten to the overdrive yet, so. Your words, all these nice would be like this. You want the saturation, the distortion, you want that at the end of the vocal chain, as you can see, it's right here. Um, because if we had it back here, all of these audio effects afterwards would kind of drown out that top end of the distortion. So we're saving that for the end. All right, next up is some reverb. And this one, 1 1.24 seconds. So now we're getting a little bit longer of decay time for the vocals. Sleeping in a lonely crib. That's really gonna open up the vocals. All right, next up is just some EQ, boosting up those highs, um, taking out some of the, those lows that were artificially produced. And then next up is some more de-essing. So there's two layers of de-esser, there we go. And then we've got a final compressor. So this last compressor, is really gluing this track together. So we had these two early compressors kind of give us a less dynamic sound, more upfront vocal. But after adding all of these effects and stuff, the vocal's starting to get really airy and we still want it to be really compressed, give us that pop punk sound. Um, so we're gonna throw in this last compressor right here. I've been sleeping in a lonely crib. Driving through the neighborhood. So it's really getting out to like negative seven, really doing a lot of work. And now we've got the overdrive. So now you're going to hear this distorted sound that pop punk vocals have a lot. And we only have like 8% dry wet. So if we had it up to like 73%, your words, all these nights, all these nights. Really don't want that because it's just ruining all of the work that we put into these vocals. So we're just adding. 8% and that's just going to add that top end really give some distorted sound to those wide sounds so your words all these nice would be like this in my play just making it a little bit grittier and that's what we need and then the last effect is some final reverb and then this one is the super wide one so we've got all of the basics down now we're going to throw in this final reverb really make this a really wide sound. So that is how I mixed the main vocals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off everything I just showed you on both of these tracks and you're gonna give a listen to the vocals without any of the effects that I just showed you. It's, it's bland, obviously, because there's no audio effects. Now we're going to throw in this MGK template that I just showed you. Alright, moving on to the telephone effect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mute these last two audio effects in this chain. And you're going to tell that all this is, is the regular effect rack that I just walked through. Face. 
it's just the same thing but we're adding these last two effects so the first one is going to be some reverb make these vocals sound really distant so this is the breakdown right before the drop we're going to kind of back up get this distant effect let's hear it and then final effect is this eq this is the telephone effect so we got a low cut at 516 really taking out the the mids and the heavy lower presence of the vocals and then we've got a high cut at 11.9 kilohertz i believe and that's gonna, gonna muffle them a little bit so this is a true telephone effect now the vocals sound like this Without it, you've been running through my mind. You've been running through my mind like. There we go, and then we get into the doubled. Even though it's wrong, I wish your new boyfriend would just leave you. Vocals. So usually when I double vocals, I have them at negative fifty and fifty. So fifty to the left, fifty to the right. Even though it's wrong, I wish your new boyfriend. So really wide, but if you listen to the beat. You have this really distorted guitar that's also doubled. So you've got this really distorted guitar 50 to the left and 50 to the right. And if we had the vocals also at 50 to the left, 50 to the right, which I tried out, they'd sound a little bit drown out by the guitars because they're both taking the same spot in the mix so they're not like more in the middle they're not the centerpiece of this course which we need them to be so instead of 50 to the left 50 to the right we're going to be going 30 to the left and then 30 to the right and now they're going to be moving just a little bit closer to the middle to the spotlight of this Course. There we go. So the mix on these doubled vocals, they're just like the main vocals over here. But as you can tell, we group them and we're throwing on these final effects. So the regular vocals panned sound like this. Even though it's wrong, I wish your new boyfriend. So really crisp, you know, on your left and your right doubled, but we want them to be a little bit more centered. So we're going to be throwing on a glue compressor on both of these, really gluing both of these together, and then distortion. So this distortion is going to be making these doubled vocals sound more like they're in the middle. This is going to be adding some top end distortion on the sound. Even though it's wrong, I wish your new boyfriend would just leave. So now it's more like, you know, the main piece of this chorus. So without these two, even though it's wrong, I wish with these two, even though it's wrong, I wish your new boy. It's also boosting the volume a little bit, which is nice. Um, and then we're gonna throw on some last reverb, only eight percent mix, not doing too much, and then some EQ. Take out these lows that were artificially produced. Yeah, and then we've just got this ad lib, which is the telephone effect. You. And this is what our chorus vocals sound like. Even though it's wrong, I wish your new boyfriend would just leave you alone and make you think twice of running from my home. It's been a month since we made our last goodbye through phone. Even though it's wrong, I wish your new boyfriend would just leave you alone. Thank you, Zolmates, for watching this video to the end. That is super helpful. Yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitch, and we can make beats like this together. Um, subscribe if you want. That would be helpful. Also, as you know, if you follow me on Instagram, link in the description, then I follow one person who follows me after every video. So, here we are on Instagram. 
Um, these people recently followed me. I appreciate you. Um, let's check out Baidoru. Every storm runs out of rain. It's a pretty cool line. Do they have music? That is an incredible voice. They are getting a follow. There we go. Yeah, so if you want to follow me, the link is in the description. I would much appreciate that. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a nice time. Peace.